Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Maris and this video is kind of different from what I normally do. I don't know, I'm not really consistent on this channel in any way, so maybe it's not. But recently, let, wait, let me get settled. So recently, I, me and my boyfriend bought two and a half acres of land, which was a big investment because it's right smack in the middle of downtown, but it's going to be worth a whole lot of money, so it was a really good investment in 10 or 15 years, um, land is gonna be pretty scarce in the city. So we didn't want to miss out on this opportunity to have this land because we do want to be as self-sustaining as possible once we build our house out there, grow our own food, have chickens, have solar panels, collect rainwater, um, all of that stuff. So this video is like a little bit of an introduction. We bought the land in I want to say mid-March, early to mid-March. I think it was March 21st, but it is now June 17th and the land is still not graded. It was graded about 10 years ago, which was the last time that it was purchased. So um, it's not, it doesn't have any huge trees on it or anything that we're having to deal with, but there's a lot of there's 10 years worth of undergrowth so there's you know briar bushes and things like that there's lots of wisteria on the property which i'm going to try to salvage if possible we've been waiting almost three months and it has not been graded yet i think because it's not going to be new construction in the greater knows it's not going to be new construction he's not in a hurry to do it right now the plan is to go ahead and build the garden, get a greenhouse out there, um, a shed out there, and have it kind of set up everything but the house, I guess, and wait until we are financially ready to build the house, because we could build a starter home on it, but we want something slightly bigger. Uh, my dad is a contractor, so he will be building it for us, which makes it a lot more affordable, and we can build it a little bit more of like a custom home and not having to pay a contractor, which is helpful also. But as soon as we found out that we had the land under contract, we, me, I was excited. Um, I went and got a bunch of seeds and started germinating a bunch of vegetables and things, which now, since the land isn't graded, aren't able to go into the ground and they should have gone in the ground about six weeks ago. So what I'm doing in this video, I'll give you a little overview of all of the things I have planted and then I am going to transfer everything into one gallon buckets because right now everything is in six inch pots and it needs to not be in, or not six inch, four inch pots. And it needs to not be in four inch pots because I have like buttercup squash that are blooming and it needs to have a lot more room for those roots to grow to be able to provide nutrients to those vegetables. I know it is not likely we are going to have a good harvest this first season because everything is in pots and it's kind of just spread throughout the yard. We're working with what we have. The way I think about it is by the time even if you grades the land today, by the time we construct a fence and the garden beds and everything, it's still gonna take us a few weeks. So I thought I might as well transfer everything, transplant everything into bigger containers. I think the next video, I'm gonna get video of us grading and then I'll go more in depth about the plan and the layout of the garden because we won't really get an idea of that until we see the land cleared. Um, I know the shape of the lot, obviously, but I don't know what the topography looks like. I believe it's flat towards the top and it goes down and gets flat at the bottom. If that's the case, the house will go up top. We'll have terraces for me to plant flowers and things. And then the bottom will be where the garden is, but I'm not 100% sure how the land looks and the lay of the land. So I'll save that for the next video. I am going to try to document this whole process. As someone who doesn't know what they're doing, um, the trial and error of it all. So we are having to build a deer fence because there's lots of rabbits and there's lots of deer. Um, the land backs up to about 10 acres of woods. So we're gonna clear our land almost completely, I think. And since we do have those woods surrounding us, I would leave some stuff if, it was bare all around us. We're trying to get our hands on that 10 acres. 
but I think that they're gonna be building something. I don't know, the people that own it own a lot of land where I live, so they tend to hold on to their land, if you know what I mean. But we are putting a deer fence up so that the deer don't come and eat everything. That's a major problem. I'm kind of concerned about everything being planted in our yard because our house does back up to woods right now, but it's fine. Everything's great. But um, I tend to not research very well before I get into something like this. So it will be a lot of trial and error because I'm stubborn and that's just how I function. Um, I like to just dive right in um, without any information. Obviously, um, probably should have waited till the grand, the land was graded to plant things, but I thought things would be moving a little bit faster than they are, which is fine. I'm still just grateful that we have the land. It is ours and we will get there when we get there. I'll be making videos kind of documenting the whole process. So if that's something you're interested in, I'll probably make a little playlist on here. But for now, I'll give you a tour of everything we have and I'll be repotting a few things. So yeah. I hope you enjoy this video. So for the stuff that needs to be repotted today, most of this stuff does. Over here we have cantaloupe, watermelon, big jack-o'-lantern pumpkins, and the little um, white squash that look like squished pumpkins and they're kind of decorative. And then two pickling cucumber plants. Lots of asparagus because if you know anything about asparagus, it takes about two years to be able to harvest it. So we got lots of it going. These need to all be moved into these four inch pots. Everything you see with the little sticks out of it, the dowel rods, is sugar snap peas. Um, they're not doing too hot. Um... And I actually am out of gallon buckets, so that's the only one that's getting saved. The rest of these are getting chucked. Um, this is all kale, lettuce, broccoli, that sort of stuff. Um, it's not doing well either. That's the kale. It's doing okay, but I don't know if it's worth transplanting. I think I'm just going to wait until... Hello. <laughs> I think I'm just going to wait until I can put it straight into the ground. So like I said, sugar, these are also sugar snap peas, but this is the only one I think worth saving because it's the healthiest. And we have three okra plants, and then these have all been repotted from those small dudes. And we have bell peppers, jalapeno peppers, cayenne peppers, and uh, habanero peppers because Wesley wants to make his own stuff with that this is also the herbs as you can see doing great we have sweet basil and regular basil everything else is just not coming up so i'm going to wait and replant those once i can get them directly into the ground um because i want to dry them and wesley wants to make his own seasonings and rubs with it and i want to dry it and use it for my craft so everything that I, you can see, <laughs> there's just pots everywhere. Um, everything that I replanted yesterday, these are all Roma tomatoes because Wesley wants to make his own pizza sauce and that's really good for making that. We have, this is an asparagus bean, which I need to zip tie or uh, wire all of these up here because I'm just going to let them grow up. Um, this is an asparagus bean and I bought it bought the seeds on accident because I thought it was asparagus and I just wasn't paying attention. So I don't know what that's going to turn into or what that's going to taste like. Um, these two are green beans. That is one of the sugar snap peas. So I'm going to end up with two sugar snap pea plants. And then these three are lima, be lima beans. A little froggy. <laughs> okay. Oh, there's another little froggy. We have frogs. Well, the big ones are probably all out, but they just live under here. So all of these are cherry tomato, like they're like jumbo cherry tomatoes, which is also really good for making pizza sauce and salsa and 
uh, spaghetti sauce and all that kind of stuff. I make sure I don't step on a frog over here. It is hot. Okay, so over here we have sunflowers, which I am going to put around the border fence of the garden, but also um, I want to try to dry my own sunflower seeds and see how that goes. We have three stalks of corn. I feel like I probably need more than that, but we're starting small. And then all over here, we have, all right, these five are burpless cucumbers. Uh, these, however many, one, two, three, four, I have six. Is that right? Yeah. Six are a uh, buttercup squash, which I don't know what a buttercup squash is. I thought it was the same as a butternut squash, but it's not. But look at these giant flowers it has on it. It's beautiful. And then, let's see. That's a raspberry, and those two on the end are raspberries. Um, that one got separated from his family. Uh, these two are blackberries and then olive trees and then everything over here is yellow squash so then in the garage <laughs> i have so here's here's some of the asparagus that i already moved to four inch pots i'm gonna have like 200 little asparagus plants and this is artichokes which they're in here because when i transplanted them they were small and they were not vibing with the heat. I'm not sure if they're gonna make it. This one looks okay and this one looks kind of okay. Um, we'll see how that goes. A friend has come to help me garden. Oh, yeah. my hands are dirty, sorry. It's raining, so. <laughs> what you doing, buddy? Hello, it's me again. Um, so, yep, yeah, that was the video. Um, there was a huge storm 
last night. Um, I was in the middle of potting and this huge storm came in. We weren't supposed to get it. I was checking the radar earlier in the day and we weren't supposed to get any rain. It absolutely poured. Our power was out for about five hours. Um, as you can see in the video, I had, we just had baby frogs or baby toads. We've had toads in our driveway side yard area um, all spring and they just had little babies. So there was little baby toads uh, seeking shelter in the garage. And I was having, <laughs> I was having to scoop them up and there's a safe place that they can be sheltered outside. I didn't want them to be in the garage and then get stuck in the garage if I shut the doors. I couldn't shut the doors anyway because the power went out. Not the point, but it was kind of peaceful, slightly violent, but kind of peaceful to replant that stuff and watch the thunderstorm roll in. There was crazy lightning and thunder. We had a couple trees come down. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more, there will be more soonish. The next video is determined by, well, the next one of these videos is determined by how long it takes the grader to grade the land. Subscribe if you care, if you want to see me fail at keeping things alive. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!